A story which has captured the world's attention over the past week is that of the five-year-old Moroccan child, Ryan, who fell into a well. For over five days, rescue efforts were organized to get him out. With the eyes of the world focused on these efforts and the voices of Muslims everywhere, praying for him and his family. As the rescue team got close to Ryan, the shouts of Allahu Akbar were heard loudly everywhere. They finally reached Ryan, but sadly he had died, leaving millions of Muslims teary-eyed yet accepting of Allah's wisdom. This great concern shown by Muslims in Ryan sparked the interest of major international media outlets and they started closely following the news of his fall, rescue, and his eventual death. May Allah have mercy on his soul. This incident united Muslims of different nationalities and reduced the distance between them as it reflected the core of their religion, which gives great value to the human soul. In the Quran, after Allah Almighty mentions the story of the murder of Adam's son by his brother, Allah says what can be translated as, Because of that, we prescribe for the children of Israel that whoever kills a human self, unless it is for murder of another self or corruption in the land, it is as if he has killed mankind altogether, and whoever gives life to it, it is as if he has given life to mankind altogether. The Messenger of Allah, Muhammad, may Allah's prayers and peace be upon him, stressed the value of the individual Muslim. The companions pledged allegiance to the Prophet to sacrifice their lives when it was rumored that the polytheists had killed one Muslim, Uthman, may Allah be pleased with him. An army of 3,000 was sent to Mu'ta to fight the Romans and the Ghassanites when they killed the Prophet's envoy to Basra. The Prophet knew that it was an uneven war, as the Muslims were heavily outnumbered. But he wanted the world and the Muslim generations to realize the value of a single Muslim and the need for the whole Muslim nation to rise when any Muslim is attacked. Farwa ibn Amr al-Judami was a Christian who embraced Islam. When the Romans killed him as a result, the Messenger of Allah formed an army to fight them and ordered Osama ibn Zayd to lead it. Just before his death, and despite his preoccupation with other important affairs, he stressed the importance of sending Osama's army ahead to avenge Farwa. This despite the fact that Farwa was a new revert. This is how much the Messenger of Allah cherished the individual Muslim. What about non-Muslims? Islam forbids aggression against them to the extent that the Prophet said, whoever killed a mu'ahid, which means a person who is granted the pledge of protection by the Muslims, shall not smell the scent of paradise, though its scent can be smelt at a distance of 40 years. Even the Sharia penal code, which the opponents of Islam object to so strongly, is intended to preserve the dignity of the individual and his belongings, protect his money from being stolen, his honor from being violated, and his security from being threatened. The engagement of Muslims all over the world with Rayan's story is a reflection of the required Islamic position in such cases. You may ask, what about the dozens of Muslims who are killed in bombings and massacres in Syria, India, Burma, Yemen, and other places? Where is the compassion of Muslims towards these people? Muslims across the world feel a great deal of pain and compassion for all suffering Muslims. The fact that these genocides have not stopped is not because Muslims are not interested but because of their helplessness and their oppression by dictatorial regimes which are propped up by the global powers. Otherwise, whenever the opportunity presents itself, Muslims have shown great sympathy and provided generous support, as they did recently for their refugee brothers in the north of Syria who are experiencing the extreme cold. Muslims everywhere, including the poor and oppressed in occupied Palestine, donated anything they could. Children donated their small savings, and women gave up their jewelry in order to build houses for their fellow Muslims in the north of Syria. Islam is a religion that glorifies the human soul. As Allah Almighty says, what can be translated as, We have honored the children of Adam, 
carried them on land and sea, provided for them good things, and favored them above many of those who we have created.